For thousands of years, mankind has questioned the existence of extraterrestrial life in our universe. The chances that aliens exist in some form is highly probable. Today, astronomers are already sending messages into space. But what if these messages are perceived as threats and aliens believe humans are the enemy? Is an invasion inevitable? It would be like Godzilla meeting Bambi. If extraterrestrials exist, they would come from the far edges of the universe. Their vast spacecrafts may already be en route to our world, and there is no way to know when they will arrive. Many think that this scenario is possible, including researcher Nick Pope, who has worked with the British Ministry of Defense to investigate UFO sightings. The arrival of extraterrestrials could mean extinction for the human race. It's impossible to know exactly what would happen, but scientist Ben Moore thinks it comes down to two basic principles. If alien life came here, they would be coming because they were curious or because they were unfriendly. Our Earth is just a mere speck in a massive universe. Statistically, scientists believe that this may mean that there could be millions of other civilizations like ours out there. The Earth orbits the sun, just like seven other planets. But our sun is not unique. It is only one of more than 100 other billion bright stars in our galaxy, the Milky Way. And even the Milky Way is just one of a trillion more galaxies. Some scientists believe it is only a matter of time before aliens finally reach Earth. Does life exist in space? The answer might lie within Earth's closest neighbor, the planet Mars. Located over 34 million miles from Earth, researchers speculate that Mars is a planet that could support extraterrestrial life. In 2003, ESA sent the Mars Express probe to the Red Planet. Its mission, find water, the basic substance of life on Earth. The images from the Mars camera showed something remarkable, deep valleys that cut through the Mars rock. At one point in time, water must have flowed here. And in some Mars craters, scientists have found frozen water. There are even entire glaciers capping the poles of Mars. But that's not all. Scientists have been able to retrace the entire history of Mars. Four billion years ago, a gigantic sea covered a third of the planet. This water would have been enough to support microorganisms, except suddenly the climate changed. But if just a small amount of liquid water is still present, there is still hope for life on Mars. A recent promising sign, strange grooves on the slopes of Mars. These features can occur when water liquefies in the soil and rock slides back over it. Hiding under the barren surface of this planet, there might still be liquid water, water that could mean life. Except on Mars, temperatures can drop as low as minus 121 degrees Fahrenheit. With no atmospheric protection, dangerous cosmic rays can directly strike the planet's surface. Is it even possible for life to survive in these conditions? To answer the age-old question of existence of life on Mars, scientists take a deeper look at a continent on Earth that can mimic Mars' icy climate, Antarctica. Life can exist on Mars. Based on the experiments we've done, it's clear that today's Mars is a viable planet. I believe we need to seriously look for life on Mars. Proving simple life exists on Mars would tremendously fuel the greater discussion about intelligent life. Humans need to find proof of extraterrestrial existence before they make contact. 
But even after all this effort, there is still a chance that Mars may actually be a dead planet. There are still other potentially habitable worlds. The two moons orbiting Saturn, Titan and Enceladus, could hold life in the ice that covers them. Gas giant Jupiter also has its own ice moons, Ganymede and Europa. Underneath their ice crusts, they may have oceans of liquid salt water, which could be teeming with life. Future missions could finally reveal if there is life in our solar system. Unless highly developed extraterrestrials discover us first, scientists believe they could reach our planet. If extraterrestrials arrive, they will have traveled a great distance from a planet that is very far from our solar system. How do we identify where they will come from? One man is getting closer to the answer. It was here in 1995 that he made a breakthrough discovery. We have come here to the observatory of Haute Provence to measure as many stars as possible in the clear sky. In just his first week, Mayor was able to pinpoint 142 stars. And there's something very peculiar about one of them. Star 51, Pegasi, seemed to be moving. A small strange wobble that made him think that it could have a planet in its orbit. Mayor has a theory. The gravitational pull of this star holds onto a planet, but the planet itself is tugging back, causing the star to also make a small movement. Astronomers call this a change in the radial velocity, which causes a shift in the way the light of the star reaches us back on Earth. As it moves forward, it is seen as bluish. As it moves back, it is perceived as red. For the first time ever, an exoplanet has been identified, a planet outside our solar system. The newly discovered planet is located in the constellation Pegasus, 50 light years away from Earth, and it's been given a name, 51 Pegasi b. The discovery of 51 Pegasi b is a major milestone in space exploration. We now know for certain that exoplanets exist outside our solar system. The discovery also is another reason why many scientists are convinced extraterrestrials exist. Do any planets have the potential to support not just simple life forms, but the development of whole civilizations? Could there be a second Earth, a planet exists with the same characteristics as our own? To this day, almost 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered like Corot 7b, 490 light years away. This planet likely is primarily made up of hot lava. At first glance, planet HD 189733b actually looks like Earth, but it has its blue color for another reason, not water, but hazardous glass particles in the atmosphere with brutal winds of 5,000 miles per hour. It may even rain molten glass on this planet. Fifty-five Cancri E may actually possess a diamond core. The surface is a scorching 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit, and the atmosphere of this exoplanet contains high amounts of a toxic prussic acid. Life as we know it on Earth could not exist here. One planet looks particularly promising to researchers, Kepler 452b, a planet 1400 light years away in the constellation Cygnus. This planet is amazingly similar to Earth. Its star has a similar size and temperature to our sun. For a round trip around the star, it takes 385 days, just a little longer than our Earth's orbit, and the distance to the star is just right. A new European telescope has the means to finally find this second Earth. This advanced device is called the European Extremely Large Telescope, EELT for short. By 2024, the telescope will be stationed in the Chilean desert. It will be the largest of its kind in the world. The scientists hope 
that the telescope's power will finally prove that there is life on an exoplanet. They want to use the telescope to examine the planet's atmosphere. As soon as the planet moves in front of its star, using the color, scientists can determine what kinds of molecules it contains. Is it possible that extraterrestrials are already also watching us? Are they planning a visit? And for what purpose? Is there any way to predict what the invaders will look like? Some researchers believe that aliens might be extremely similar to us. Different environmental conditions could mean that life from other planets would look drastically different. These organisms would need to endure extreme heat or extreme cold. If they came from a planet with stronger gravitational forces, extraterrestrials may have adapted and developed massive muscle to fight against gravity's pull. Small compact creatures would have the advantage on this type of planet. Or a planet with less gravity, aliens would need much less muscle to move around. Their planet could be populated by thin giants. The plan is to visit our neighboring star system, Alpha Centauri only 4.2 light years away from Earth. Scientists have discovered that in this system, the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri is orbited by an Earth-like planet. Proxima b sits perfectly in the habitable zone, making the planet a prime candidate for harboring extraterrestrial life. But it would take an unmanned probe 32,000 years to reach Proxima b. Aliens may already be heading towards their target, Earth. The Big Ear Radio Telescope of the Ohio State University has its antennas aimed directly into space. Using these antennas, the telescope could capture every radio wave lying in its orbit, and suddenly it received a strange signal from space. This wow signal came from the constellation Sagittarius, 200 light years away from Earth. With a 30-fold standard deviation, the signal was strong enough to be heard over the background noise of the universe, and it may have been sent out by another civilization. In 1977, the Voyager 1 probe made its way into space. Since then, it has reliably sent back data and images from our solar system. Precious cargo is stored on board. The golden record a copper disc that holds music, images, and sounds from the Earth. <laughs> Greetings recorded in 55 different languages, a way to kindly introduce ourselves to foreign civilizations. Hello from the children of planet Earth. Herzliche Grüße an alle. Bonjour tout le monde. Konnichiwa, o genki desu ka? Hola y saludos a todos. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first probe to leave our solar system. It has flown further into space than any man-made object ever before. This cosmic message in a bottle will travel even deeper into interstellar space. By 2025, the probe will run out of its energy supply and continue into the cosmos uncontrolled. Acoustic signals are already being sent out into space. The most famous signal was the Arecibo message in 1974. The message created by astronomer Frank Drake used binary code to provide information about human biology, the population on Earth, and tell the recipient exactly where the signal originated. So far, we haven't received a reply from aliens. Critics say that stopping these messages is the only way to prevent a human catastrophe. If extraterrestrials received our signals long ago, now it's too late for us to hide. Pandora's box might already be open. At this very moment, aliens could be en route to Earth. Aliens would need a motive to fight Earth. Our planet is home to seven billion people. To aliens, the most interesting resources on Earth might actually be its inhabitants. Is there any way to prepare for this kind of disaster? Space agencies have emergency procedures to respond to dangers like meteorite impacts. Do they also have a plan in case of an alien attack? 
scientists and military experts have already thought through what would really happen in an attack situation. Only one thing is for certain. Extraterrestrials' arrival would change our world forever. The only hope is that if they do come, they will come in peace. <laughs>